consume you. Look at you. I mean, take a look at you, my friend. You look disorganized. You no longer go to work, nor care how things are being done over there. You don't get it, Tony, do you? I get it. You are afraid of losing the throne to your younger brother. Exactly, Tony. The politics is top notch. These people are strategizing and perfecting their plans on a daily basis. See, I can't just relax and be going to work pretending that all is well, only for me to wake up one day or return from work and realize that this idiot has taken over this kingdom. That will not happen. Chukuna, so I will suggest you put yourself together and put everything in God's hands. There you go wrong, Tony. Because I belong to the school of thought who believes that it is foolish for me mortals to disturb God over things they can handle as mortals. This is one of them, and I'm handling it. Leave God out of this. I never bargained for all this. Imagine. A multi-million Naira company abandoned just because I want to stay at home to make sure that my birthright is not handed over to another. Are you now regretting your actions? Don't you think the throne is more important than the company? I know. But all these things wouldn't have been a problem if Father hadn't married that mischievous woman. She's the cause of all this. Brother, we've come a long way. And we can't afford to go back. I know, Chama. But see, my office is just there with only the secretary. That is not good enough. Okay. Will you permit me to go there and help you run the office? Remember, I studied business management in school and I can do that for you. Oh, are you serious? You're going to do that for me? <laughs> Come on, I'm not just doing this for you. I'm doing it for us, all of us. Remember, family is everything. Oh, sorry. This is one name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Chidera. Chidera, you won't believe your brother shouted at me. You won't believe he shouted at me as if I was a piece of trash. Oh, I feel so ashamed of myself right now. But why would you do that? You know my brother is not in this right frame of mind. I know. And that was why I did that, hoping to take away his worries. You don't know my brother. He doesn't fall easily for women. Chidera, I know about all this already. He told me about it. He told me he likes to pick his bitches himself. He said that to you? Um, and you don't know what that means? He called you a bitch like it's written all over you? Chidera, if there's one thing I don't like, I don't like to be insulted. What are you trying to say? I, I'm sorry. You're trying to call me a bitch? No, I'm sorry, but... One thing I know is my brother lives on weed. If you have to do anything with him, then you have to do the same. It's okay. I do. Well, if you like throw yourself at my brother, he will never look your way. I said it's okay. It's okay. I must be named the heir to the throne. Becoming the custodian of the staff of the kings is my obsession for now. And I must handle it as king or set it ablaze. My prince, I've already told you that the throne is yours. Relax. Relax. My prince, can I say something? You are free to say whatever it is you want to say. I guarantee freedom of speech, but freedom after speech, I cannot guarantee. Okay, my prince, can I ask you a question? Go on, I'm listening. 
Okay, my prince. My prince, what will happen if finally you are not named the heir to the throne of your fathers? What sort of question is that? My brother, I am asking a question as a friend. And I deserve a simple answer. This is the problem I have with you, Jerry. You were just a pessimist. My prince, I'm not. Prince, if I go, my point is that you have nothing to lose at all. If your brother emerges the king, you will still relate with him just like the way your father relates with his brother. That is my point. Jerry, can you hear the rubbish you are blabbing to a friend? I'm not blabbing any rubbish here. And listen up, Chucky. Our duty here is to guide our friend properly. And not give him a fake and an irresponsible advice. My prince, you are the manager of Eastern Steel Limited. I mean, you are doing very well for yourself. Enough! And... Enough, Jerry. Before you provoke me, father. Look, if you do not have anything important to say, shut up. Jerry, as far as I'm concerned, you are not making any sense. And these are some of the reasons they threw you out of the seminar. Nonsense. My prince, the throne is yours. Calm down. I'm with you on this. Your son will never be named successor. Kolo, it will not work for you. Give me Amusu. Amusu! Let thunder strike you dead! Thunder will kill you! Go away from the mother! 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 Go away from this is really getting out of hand. They quarry and fight every blessed day in this palace. I wonder how long they wish to do that. You don't need to wonder. Maybe till the king dies. You are right. Yes, I'm right. I even think one of them will have the intention of eliminating the king so that her son will become the king. I think so, Obera. That must be Ifai's mother. They are and the cause of the problem in the palace. You know what? what? To me, they are both villains. Yes. You shouldn't say that. Why? We all know Prince Chukunonso is the first son of the family. And by right, he should be made the future king. Then he should wait till father join his ancestors. Before thinking of being king, he behaves as if he wants the man dead. Confidence. My prince! For how long would Doka? How long am I going to endure this? I have no peace in my home. They are fighting over something that is yet to happen. That's the stage for that. Maybe I should just die or kill myself so that everything will be over. Hey, Zubiaco, there are certain things you just cannot say. You are a king. How can you say a thing like that? Women cannot kill you. Women that you marry. How is that possible? And you are not going to die because of women. Now listen, I don't know what else to do again. They will not just stop fighting. What do you expect me to do? My brother, calm down. Stop overworking yourself. You are beginning to feel frustrated. It is not good for you. Everything will be all right. Just don't worry, I will talk to them. And you think they will listen to you? There is no harm in trying. Fortunately, they are both from this land. So they will understand what I will explain to them. You have to, you have to calm down. Please, I will handle it. Hey! Mom, I wish I was there. I would have beaten that woman and her daughters blue black. Was Chukun still there when all this happened? No, he was not. Mm. But his stupid mother, well, I, I would have beaten that woman up if not that your father intervened. 
Mom, I am just being calm. But they are pushing me. Well, son, there's something very important I would like us to talk about. What's that? Both of you are aware that Chioma now manages Royal Code Oil and Gas Limited, originally managed by Chukunonso. So? They planned this thing so well to enable Chukunonso stay at home and walk his way to the throne. That is one. Another is, if I Chuku, you have not gone to work for some time now. So I want your sister to take over until things work out well. Mommy, I can't do that. Will you shut up? What do you mean by you, you, Mommy, I can't do that? I am not going to do that. You want me to go to the office in the morning, come back at night. Now that's going to be very stressful and boring for me. I know try am. I know it. Mom, who is this? Who is this? How did you give birth to this embodiment of nuisance? Mom is here trying to make your life productive. But all you want to do is go out there and, and mess yourself around with men. That's all you want to do. Chidera, you can do this. It's not difficult. Moreover, it's for the meantime. Oh, don't you want your brother to be named the successor to the throne? Mom, are you pleading with her? Hey, you, hey, hey, I'm talking to you. You heard what mom said. Henceforth, you are going to do exactly what she has said. Must! Capital letters M U S T. You must do what she has told you to do. Look, 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 look at this one. Chidera, please. It is for us. For our own good. I will think I'm... Hey. Did you just say? Oh, no, please. Please, I need your help. You have to help me, please. How do you want me to help you, my prince? I, I, I don't know, but maybe by telling everyone that I am the rightful heir to the throne. Is it based on the fact that I am the first son of the king? You want me to do that? Yes, exactly. See, you know, anything you want, I can pay. Just name your price. Name your price. What do you take me for? I don't mean to insult you. Just no. nothing. You have insulted me already. And I don't want you to do it any further. See, I... There is nothing I can do for you, Prince Chukun or so. I can't help you. This conversation is over. Please. And in your life, do not ever attempt to give me a bribe. No matter the amount. My wife, I did not call for this meeting for you to fight and argue. No. Because I am convinced that in your hearts lie that gentle, good-mannered and calm woman my brother married. I want us to remember that. Because I want this meeting to hold under a calm atmosphere. Is that difficult to ask? My husband should be telling her that. Because she's the one causing all the problems in this palace. Are you not going to call this mad woman to order? Yeah, it's your late mother that is a mad woman. And your late mother who was a witch and died shamefully. That is why you gave birth to a worthless son who cannot even look at a woman in the face. Enough. Enough already. Nonsense. Both of you can't even show me respect. Hmm. What is going on? From what I have observed, it is so clear that both of you are the ones Fighting the embers of this needless war in this palace. Can, can any of you deny it? My husband, she's the one fanning the embers of war. Because she should have told her what lesson. It is the first son that assumes office after his father. Mm. A young man who is so shy to even talk to a woman face to face should not be thinking of the throne. Your son is too naive to be nurturing such a lofty ambition. Enough! So it is your last Enough! Oh, shut up! Oh, shut Enough. up! Enough! What is, what, is, what is this? Nonsense. Now why are you doing this? 
Why are we exposing this family? Why? It is clear you don't know. The people of Uzono are watching. They are looking at us in this palace and they know what is going on. Very soon, they will discover that royalty is indeed big business. And when that happens, they will demand for rotational arrangement, which will see royalty departing from this family for another family. We are going to lose the throne because another family will produce the king of Uzona. No, no that will not happen. That will be impossible. Ah. Royalty will remain with us. And my son is going to become king after his father. Ah! Akune, in your wildest dream, keep dreaming, you useless, good-for-nothing queen. Musiki just called me a queen. <laughs> Watch my dreams come true, idiot. Ah, no, 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 Emotions, confusions, the war within us and between us, the fighting. I have an idea. Chucky, tell us about it. My prince. Why don't you take your brother out of the way? I beg your pardon? Yes. What do you mean by take your brother out of the way? You know what I mean. Eliminate him. Chuki! Have you gone nuts? No, I mean, are you out of your mind? Chuki, if I should understand you well, are you trying to tell us that you are suggesting that someone has to be killed because of this case? Yes. If that will solve the problem. Choki. And if I knew you are this mean and heartless. My prince. You know what? Thank you very much for your advice. But it hasn't gotten to that. Above all, my mother does not believe in wasting anyone. Oh. Thank God at least someone is still thinking right. You guys are not thinking right. If there is a problem, men are expected to solve it. You guys are not thinking solution, so I'm not part of it. I'm a devil. I insist. No one dies. Teresa, I did everything possible to settle those women. Then I discovered that indeed my brother married two mad women. They are Arab. Hey! Those queens are something else. But what do they intend to do? You're calling them queens? Mad women at the ones you're calling queens? I don't know. Sincerely, I don't know. Would you want me to talk to them? You, talk to them. <laughs> what are you going to say? After listening to what they did to me, you want to go and talk to them? That's very strange. Unless you are confirming to me that you have developed some element of madness in you as well. Talk to, talk to mad woman. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. What did you tell our son that made him stop picking my calls? He is my son. And that is why he listened to me. Are you confirming you're the one behind it? What did you tell him? The truth. I told him the truth. That I was the one that found you for myself. That nobody found you for me. Then I urged him to go ahead and find his own wife that he can manage the same way I have been managing you. In fact, I made it very clear to him that I want him to come back here with an American woman. Lies. Good lies. Ichiudoka. I want you to pick your phone and call him. Tell him to come back here and choose his wife. I will not welcome an American woman. Never! In your house? I will not welcome an American woman. No, no, Who are you to be giving you know, orders in my house? You know what? Just leave the phone and call, you, call him. Tell him what you just said. I should call him and tell him what? I tell him. Tell him exactly what you just what do you want me to tell him? When you fed him with so much lies that he's no longer picking my calls. What do you want me to tell him? Do you know Pandadiam? 
with a goosey soup, with dried meat, those thick, thick ones. That's what I want to eat. Just go ahead and prepare it and stop interfering with the woman's own marriage. What nonsense is this? Looking for trouble for nothing. I can't welcome an American woman in my house. Is it not Nigerian women that you, my brother married that I tried to turn the palace into, into a war zone? American woman. Don't make any mistake about it. Uh, Choma, I'm really happy and impressed over the way you've been managing the affairs of the company ever since I went on hiatus. I must tell you that I'm impressed. Please keep it up with the good work. You're welcome, Brenda. Okay. Moreover, you don't need to thank me. I'm doing it for us. Yeah, I know. And I assure you guys that I will never let you down. I must become the future king of this kingdom. I believe you. We must win this battle. Yes. We must win it, no matter what it takes. We must win. <laughs> yeah. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, who's there? Joseph. Come in. Good afternoon, madam. Yeah, good afternoon. Can I sit? If you want. Okay, how can I help you, please? I'll be needing your attention, madam. I'm listening. Um, I just want you to know that uh, you made a mistake on the number of goods what? that were... What are you insinuating? Uh, nothing, ma'am. Just that just I... Just hold it right there. Are you trying to say I don't know my job? Right, Will you shut up? And even if I made a mistake, I... Are you in the best position to tell me? Sh shut it. up! Just shut up! It's obvious you don't even have light in your house because your shirt is very rumpled. I have something in your shirt. Come. Let me remove that. Come. Could you come? Yeah. This. Don't you ever in your life try this again. If anybody has to tell me I make mistakes, I will know myself. Now get out of my office! Get out! Sorry, madam. Get out! Will you get out? Fool! A woman should be self-reliant. If you're self-reliant, as a human being, not just a, a woman, you can hold your own, no matter what happens. Peradventure your spouse dies or leaves, you'll be able to stand tall and- General! General! What is How it? How could you have made such a terrible mistake? How could you? What huh? is it? What is it? How could you? What is wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you shouting? You want to blame me? I told you, I don't want to manage company. You, you said to manage, now you're blaming me. You're shouting like a toothless bulldog. Try me first! Try me! Me! No, 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 no. Get out of my way! Stay! Me! No, no, no. Me! Do you know what I mean? Don't shout at anyone. Try it now! Will you shut up? It's okay. Please forgive her. Forgive her. You will shut up. Don't, 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 don't talk again. Please. No one should be shouting. No one should be shouting. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. It's okay. No. How else will I get him to understand that we live with enemies? Why are they finding it difficult to control their temper? Yes? What is it? Why are you staring at me like the witch you are? Can I sit and talk with you? What makes you think I want to talk with you? I come in peace. Thank you. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I saw what happened. So? Is that what you want to talk about? No. Not at all. Listen, we mustn't fight all the time. We are co-wives, remember? <sighs> Listen. I am tired of this whole thing. I don't want us to fight anymore. I want peace to reign in this palace. I want peace to begin to come back amongst us. And both of us can work this out. How do you plan to achieve it? It is very simple. I want you to convince your son. Speak to him. Make him understand that Chukun Onso is the eldest son. And he should be the king after his father. It's obvious you are still sick in the head. My brother and I weren't like this while we were growing up. We understood and tolerated ourselves. That's because none of you was insane. This my brother here is insane. Hold on. Did you just call me insane? Considering the amount of banned substance you inhale on a daily basis, I will be so shocked and surprised if you are sane. You are completely insane. Maybe you don't know. It is very obvious that you are beginning to grow balls. But I will crush them. Crush them! What will you do? Put that useless gun of yours. I beg your pardon? What gun are you talking about? Oh, Father, from your question I can understand. You don't even know what we've been up against in this palace. This useless son of yours has an illegal gun that he has been parading everywhere. What? Be careful with what you are reporting. Careful. Oh, really? You won't deny it? The same very gun you pulled against me? Take that your gun! Pull the trigger! Fire! Let's see who dropped dead here. By that, you have just confirmed before the king here that you and your prostitute of a mother have been meddling with charms, and I will prove to you that I am superior to your charms. Will you shut up if I? Are you calling my wife a prostitute? That hold on. How dare you? Did no, you... no, I will make you regret this. No, 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 no. Did you just open your mouth right before me to call my mother a prostitute? Yes, you. Is the man very big 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 I used to be. Is a being a prostitute? I used to be. I used to be. I used to be. No, no, no. Don't kill me. 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 Come on, stop doing this to yourself. Uh, Cynthia, I will not understand. I do, trust me. But that shouldn't turn you into a drunk. I'm not a drunk. I'm not. That idiot. That idiot has beaten more than he can chew. He has beaten more than he can chew, but... Trust me. Cynthia, I swear to God. I will kill him! No. No, 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 brother, you should be in bed. Cynthia has a lot running in my brain now. Sleep is the least of my worries. But I insist you should be in bed, okay? So come on. Cynthia, leave me, leave me, leave come me. on, brother. Hi. Oh. Love and treat you 
love my tree too. Mm -hmm. Every day and every night, we'll be together. If I go, take a look at yourself. You are smoking Indian M in the open as though you are one idiot walking the streets. Father. Father, I saw your throwback pictures. And then I discovered that you used to smoke. And then you had a lot of money because you had a lot of wisdom. And then some fools came to you to deceive you all in the name of preaching to you. And then you stopped. What happened when you stopped? Setback. Father. Take a drag. Just one drag. And watch your wisdom rekindle. Is this how you will rule this kingdom if you happen to be named the heir to the throne? One thing is certain, Father. When I become king, I will definitely not make the kind of mistakes that you made. I will stand up tall, dominate, coordinate my people. And then, I will legalize smoking. So that wisdom, so much wisdom, will return to my kingdom. Take a look at the company I left for you to manage. You practically abandoned it for that your useless and careless sister who does nothing but commit series and series of blunders. If I had to go, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Father, it appears you do not want to join me. Do me a favor. Give me some space. Allow me to enjoy myself. And as for my useless sister, who is indeed useless, I will fix her blunders. Trust me. I am disappointed. So am I. So am I. I wanna love you. I wanna love and treat you. Love and treat you right. Chukunan, so this throne thing is really eating you up. It's affecting you physically and it's affecting you mentally. <clears throat> Tony, you won't understand. That's what you keep saying. You will not understand. What do I need to understand apart from what I already know? Tony, I want to be named the heir to the throne. I cannot afford to lose that throne. Oh, yes. It is my desire to be the custodian of the staff of the kings of Ozuno. And how do you want to go about it when your father is still alive? Or are you planning to kill your father and your brother? God forbid. Don't say that kind of a thing. Of course you know I won't do it. I know. I'm asking because I am getting confused as well. You want to be named the successor to the throne, yet you don't know how to go about it? I am confused. I don't understand. What is it you have for me? I know everything happening in the palace. Everything. So, okay. How do you want to go about that? Hire me and I will solve the problem permanently. I don't understand. How are you going to go about it? Sakosa standing here is the same Kokoma master of Uzuno. The problems in the palace will be over once that useless ifying ceases to exist. Hire me and I can... I'll close him out. Permanently. I don't understand. You mean killing him? Why are you attaching any importance to that useless boy who has no life? As soon as he dies, the problems in the palace dies with him. Just pay me and I will make that happen. I can't believe you came, whatever you 
came from to tell me this? Ascension to any throne or high office has a process. First you eliminate all the problems and obstacles on the way. I am the master. I can do it. Once he dies, the problem in the palace dies with him, and your son will be named heir to the throne. What do you think will happen if he dies like that? You know, if he dies, people of this community will hold me and my children responsible. They will know it is an assassination. I wouldn't want that to happen. I am the scorpion. The scorpion with poisonous venom. I know what to do. And nobody will suspect. Just pay me. I will compromise his car. I will make it look like an accident. I will give him the unthinkable to smoke. And then his car's wreckage will be found. But by then, his soul will be in hell. Pressing with the devil. Are you going to hire me or not? Permit me to think about it. Permission granted, but not a word of what we discussed here should I hear outside. If I do, if I do, I will come after you and your children. I could be brutal if undermined, but let us save my brutality and unleash it on the enemy. Have a nice day. I'm so happy for you, my dear. Finally, mommy's girl has become a manager. Manager of which company? I am tired. It's boring. Oh, baby, don't say that again. Don't say that. I am tired. You're tired of what? I am tired of sitting down here 24 hours. I mean, it's boring. Baby boy, you've been productive. You should be happy. You're being productive for your family. Unfortunately, I am not. Oh, God. I am not. This is not me. Don't you understand? I need my freedom. I feel I'm caged. Okay. What do you want me to do? Um, remember the midday bar you took me to the last time we did something very yes, crazy? Yes, of course I do. I want you to take me there. I want really? I do something very crazy to you. Oh, my God. Serious? Mm hmm You mean you want to close now? This office is mine. I can leave whenever I want to. I am the boss. Okay, if you say so. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I have analyzed all angles to this controversy and I have come to the conclusion that I don't need to further play into their hands by staying at home. I'm resuming work tomorrow. Oh, very good, my son. Chukunanso, I must tell you that I'm excited to hear this. Believe me, you have made the right decision. Staying back in this palace will not solve a thing. And like I have told you already, what will be, will surely be. The people will make the right decision when I must have joined my ancestors. You have been a good son and I am so proud of you. Thank you very much, Father. I really appreciate it. I have also discussed this with my mom and my sisters and they are happy. Oh, I am proud of you. Well, well, well. So the wannabe king has finally decided to resume work. That's good. And who are you referring to as a wannabe? Is it my son or someone else that I don't know? Your Majesty, please. Stop asking questions in pretense. You are a first class king and you know what I'm talking about. I guess you're tired of staying at home, right? Lizzie, that guy is so sweet. In fact, he really knows how to do his job. Hmm. Really? He is the best I have ever had. His touches are so magical. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm beginning to get jealous. Uh -uh. Chimera! 
Why did you leave work so early yesterday? Yesterday is gone. Do we really need to talk about it? Are you answering me with another question? I said, why did you leave work so early yesterday? What I am trying to say is whatever happened yesterday should remain in the past. I would ask you for the very last time. Why did you leave work early yesterday? Come on, if I need you, just take it easy on your sister, okay? Get your filthy hands off me. I'm so sorry. Why did you leave work early yesterday? Must I answer your questions? Must I? You are a booty, you always want to bully me. I will not take it. You should be the one managing the company, not me! Yes! Are you talking to me? Hey, please. Are you, talk are you talking to me? Sorry. Are you talking to me? Look at this idiot. Look at this, look at this fool that I'm trying to... Look at, look at, look at. Look at. Just take Come on, get it. Chidera. Nonsense! What were you looking at? Look at you! You were never a queen in the first place! Look at you! Fake beat, fake attire, fake personality! Fake everything! Ascension to any throne or high office has a process. First you eliminate all the problems and obstacles on the way. I am the master. I can do it. Once he dies, the problem in the palace dies with him, and your son will be named heir to the throne. No, I can do that. Mom, I have decided to employ someone else to manage the business for the meantime. Just like that? Yes. Just like that. The daughter here knows nothing about the business, so there'll be no need leaving her at the office to ruin things for me. Thank you so much. Now that is a very big favor. Thank you. Did you hear your daughter? Did you hear this fool you call your daughter mother? This idiot left the office 3 p.m. yesterday in the company of a man. No, not just a man. My man. Your man. Your man. Hey, stop! Your man. You don't have to do that. She's a lady. All right, now. Suit yourself with your lady. I will not interfere again. I am going to Abuja and I will resume work when I return. Abuja? When? In two days. Two days? You're just telling me. It wouldn't have made any difference if I had told you earlier. And you, continue sleeping with anything that says hi to you. Idiot. Get out! Get out! Talk in here. Uh, please, please, mommy! Please, son, 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 please. 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 I'm so happy for you, my friend. I mean, take a look at you. See how fresh you look now. You look good again. <laughs> thank you, Tony. Thank you, honestly. And thank you for bringing back my mind. I was almost losing it. Oh, what are friends for? And like I told you, coming to work does not prevent you from anything. Yeah, you're right. Once again, <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah. She's there? Okay, let her in. Yeah, thank you. It's someone that is coming with a business proposal. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, come right in. Um, good afternoon, sirs. Yeah, good afternoon. Can I please sit? Oh, sure. Uh, by all means, please sit. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> um, 
going on, so I'll be on my way. I will see you later. Sorry, please. Uh, where's my friend? He just left. Oh, really? When? Well, well that's right. Uh, what do you have for me? Um, actually, sir, I I work with um an oil servicing company. We render services to other oil companies in foreign countries. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's good. Uh, at least we are in the same line of business. Mm -hmm. Well, what we do is that we collaborate with major oil companies like yours to help us meet the expectations of our clients. Well, I don't understand that. Well, you'll get to understand when you finally meet my boss. All we need you to do is to get into an agreement with our company because there are some oil servicing companies that have requested our services. And trust me, they are ready to pay lots of cash. You'll get your own percentage at the end of the day. To be honest with you, young lady, I really don't understand what you're talking about. It's a bit complicating and I am not interested. Okay. If that be the case, I have to go now. Thank you. Oh, no, please. Would you mind remaining seated? Okay. Yes, because uh, if the proposal you brought uh, won't work, maybe something else will. Well, it depends on what you mean by something else. Can you please remind me your name again? Vera. Yeah, Vera. Right. Is it, there's this thing about you. I mean, right now I lack the exact words to explain what I am feeling. Is it? But it's so unique to you. Uh, for the f very first time in my life, I'm going to ask to know a girl more. Well, I am here to see the chief executive of this company. Why am I finally up against the playboy? Playboy? Is that your impression about me? <laughs> oh, come on, my astonishing Vera. I'll prove you wrong. <sighs> Obi. Please, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. This American woman who wants her son to marry, do you know her very well? I don't understand the question. I don't know her at all. I don't know what you mean by know her very well. Did I ever tell you that I, that I know her? You don't even know the woman? No. So how come you're encouraging her son to marry her? He is the one that found her for himself. He is the one that will marry her eventually. And he is the one that will be living with her. Why would I want to know her? Why? Okay. Is she a white woman or African American? Oh God, oh God. What kind of question is this? What kind of, what kind of nonsense? Uh, do you know what? She is just an American woman, and that is all that matters. Can we, can we please stop talking about these people? Why do you want us to stop talking about them? When you've bewitched our son to an extent that he thinks I'm the one kicking against his choice. And the question that I want to ask you immediately, Madam Teresa is, have you not been kicking against his choice? Have you not been doing it? What's your problem, Teresa? Why can't you leave this young man alone, this wonderful son that God gave us? Why can't you leave him to marry the woman that will make him happy? These people are living in America. We are living here. Why are you trying to impose the Nigerian standard on people that are living in faraway America? Who shows apart? Go live anywhere. 
Oh, you guys need to see this girl. She's so beautiful, magnificent, amazing. In fact, words can't express how wonderful she is. Chuku nonso. Eh, mommy. Are you the one speaking like this? No, I don't understand. What kind of person is that? I think mom means it's quite unusual of you. We've never seen you talking about a lady. I mean, this is the very first time. <laughs> Chuku nonso. You have always been a very shy person who had a look ladies in the face. What suddenly changed? Obi will not continue to be a boy. Obi has grown. Oh, yes. Mom, wait, I will invite her over. So you guys will see, if you see Cov. Hi! You know, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Yes. Your sister is already asleep. I'll soon go to bed. How is Abuja? Really? That's wonderful. What did you eat today? It's not as if I will send food from here, but I'm just asking you as a mother. All right, son, I'm missing you already. When are you coming back? All right, darling. I miss you. Okay, love. Take good care of yourself, okay? Bye. Finally, Chuku. All I will say is that he's in love. And what kind of love is that? This is someone who hardly talks to any woman. And suddenly, he's praising the lady the way he did. Truthfully, Mom, I'm not comfortable. You can't conclude on that. Until you have sent the lady. Mom, mm -hmm. are you encouraging him to bring such a lady to this palace? Are you? Chioma, don't just see him as your brother. He's indeed. The first son of the king. So you cannot prevent him from bringing anybody to his father's palace. Okay, mom. Let's take a bite. <laughs> He's serious. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, you don't understand? What is it you're doing? You see, I, I used to be the shy guy who hardly looks girl in the face like this when I'm talking to them. <laughs> yes, though I don't accept that in public, but that's the truth about me. <laughs> really? Yes. Boy. Here we are, having a snack, and I'm not even feeling shy. It's amazing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I am speechless. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but that's the truth. Can I tell you something for you? Um, okay, go on. You were a godsend. Are you serious? Yes, of course. And I must tell you that I like you so much. I mean, so very much. You are making me shy right now. Oh, come on, darling. No, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, you may have to continue with your snack, you know. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just stop staring oh, at um, me at least. Oh, sorry, please. sorry, sorry. <laughs> but it's... I tell you, my brother, things are now better and calm. No more fighting, 
no more quarreling. My brother, I am so excited. I am so happy for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> this state of peace in the palace will give your mind a rest. Indeed. I believe. I, I, I spoke with the fine earlier this morning, okay? And he said he will resume work as soon as he returns from Abuja. Excellent news. Is this not wonderful? <laughs> wonderful, my brother. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Uh, uh, Udoka, my brother, that reminds me. I still have another good news for you. Really? Yes. I'm listening. Sukunonso said he has found a woman he wants to marry. Yes. Are you serious? He even said he is bringing her to the palace soon. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> How come everything is happening so fast? I, I don't know. All good. <laughs> At least. Now I know that Chukunonso is man enough after all. Of course, Chukunonso has always been a man. <laughs> That's why my wife has been insisting that Chukunonso should pick a wife. Yes. This information, I believe my wife will be most excited. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop staring at me. You're making me shy. Oh, come on. I can't stop. You are such a beautiful woman. And I have never seen this kind of beauty before in my life. Come on. <laughs> anyway, you're handsome too, Prince Chupunanso. Am I? Yes, you are. I have not heard that before, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> But all the same, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You see, I... I would like to invite you over to the palace. For what? To meet my parents and my sisters. Um... Don't you think it's too early? No, not at all. Come on. I want to introduce you to them as the woman I would love to marry. Yes. Honey, please. 
خود مرگ بود You mean he proposed to you just like that? And you accepted? How do you mean? Was I supposed to decline his proposal? A great prince from a great kingdom for that matter. Are you serious? Farah, doesn't matter if he's a prince or not. You don't know this guy. You just met him, I mean, some weeks ago. How can you accept his ring? Well, you're right, Neka. I just met him, or I am just getting to know him. Babes, I need to take a shower. I'm engaged, and that's all that matters. Just like that. <laughs> just, just like that. that. <sighs> this is my father, His Royal Highness, Iwe Obiako Nzakonobi, the 16th of Ozuna Kingdom. <laughs> Your Majesty. And this is my mother, Lolo Akune Obiako Nzakonobi. Lolo. And these are my lovely, beautiful sisters, Aww. Princess Choma and Princess Cynthia. I'm happy to meet you. You're beautiful. I also have a stepmother, half brother and half sister. I will introduce them to you later. Okay, that's fine. My lovely family. This is Vera. Beautiful Vera. The woman I want to get married to. <laughs> She's indeed beautiful. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lolo. Chama. Sent him. What is wrong with her? Why are all of you kicking against her? What is wrong with her? Everything is wrong with her. I am totally disappointed in you, Tuno. So you didn't see a decent girl to pick out there, but that whore. Eh? She's not a whore, mom. She's not. But she's dressed like one. What is all this? I don't see anything wrong with that young lady. No, Dad. That girl doesn't look decent. She doesn't fit Brother Chibunon so at all. Will you shut up? What do you know? She knows it all when she sees one. Mm -hmm. Where did you even meet that girl? She is already an international whore. That's your perception, Mom. That's your perception. Okay? Vera is not a whore. And I don't say that's one. She's the girl for me, and I've made up my mind I'm going to marry her. You better wake up from that dream, because that dream is not going to work. I will never allow you to marry that girl into this palace. Better go and collect that ring you gave her, because that is useless. What is this? Hmm. I wasn't expecting him to bring someone like that. Talk more as a wife. Same here. I was expecting to see a gentle and decent girl who suits his status and lifestyle. Don't mind him, because I will not allow him to marry that girl in this palace. Unfortunately, I remain the only one who can stop him from marrying her. And by that, you mean you're going to support him in marrying that whore? She is not a whore. She is the woman my son has found for himself. Here in this family, we don't impose a wife on anyone. So all of you can take your politics to somewhere else, maybe to your churches. Allow my son to marry the woman that he loves. Where he's going to talk, he's not going to talk. <coughs> Leslie. Babe, I still do not understand what is going on between you and that guy. What is it you don't understand? I am getting married to him. Just like that? 
Just like her, Neka. Let me even ask you, what is your problem? I don't have a problem, Vera. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, remember you told me his mother and sisters did not welcome you well. So? Am I getting married to any of those busybodies? In fact, my darling, that is the kind of marriage I want to go into. So that I will have the space to deal with both the mother and my sisters-in-law. For not minding their business. In fact, I am getting married to the prince for their cold reception. Vera, Vera, why are you determined to walk into an open grave? Well, why? Well, darling, let that be my headache. must be my prince. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? I am fine. I see. <laughs> I hope I'm not late. No, not at all. Okay. Mm, so, sit down. <laughs> I'll just quickly um get ready so we can leave. Okay, fine. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> um, welcome, Prince Chukwu. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nikki, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. So. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you were educated. How come you're not? I, um, <clears throat> I don't understand what you mean by that. Chukunonso is the head prince in this kingdom. And he will assume position as king in this kingdom, eventually. Now tell me, what makes you think he will end up with someone like you? Let's leave this place. It's already polluted. know what you are planning with them. I don't even want to know what you people were discussing. But I just want you to know that they are losers. And whoever discusses with them is a loser. And that makes you a loser. You understand what I talk, Sha? You understand? You come they look me. You understand? Sweetheart. 
don't look happy. What is it? Why are your sisters so mean? They won't even respond to an ordinary greeting. Why are you bothered? I am the one you're getting married to. Not them. So ignore them. Yes. Okay? Honey? I mean, talk to me. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, good. I love you so much, baby. And I love you too. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's in your eyes. You can see it. <laughs> You know what? What? I have something special for you. Oh. A special gift, yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're gonna give me some time? Let me go and get it from my room. Alright, that's fine. I'll be here waiting. I know. <laughs> Whatever I said to you, you know that. It's okay. fine. I'll just fine. Just put your smiley face. <laughs> I'm smiling already. I know, I know. But please don't keep too long, okay? Oh, come on, trust me, I'll go back. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were educated. How come you're not? I... Um, <clears throat> I don't understand what you mean by that. Chukunonso is the head prince in this kingdom. And he will assume position as king in this kingdom. Eventually. Now tell me, what makes you think he will end up with? Someone like you. Sinta, let's leave this place. It's already polluted. I don't know what you are planning with them. I don't even want to know what you people were discussing. But I just want you to know that they are losers. And whoever discusses with them is a loser. And that makes you a loser. You understand what I talk to You understand? You understand? You understand? You understand? Sweetheart. 
You don't look happy. What is it? Why are your sisters so mean? They won't even respond to an ordinary greeting. Why are you bothered? I am the one you're getting married to. Not them. So ignore them. Yes. Okay? I mean... Talk to me. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, good. I love you so much, baby. And I love you too. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's in your eyes. You can see it. <laughs> You know what? What? I have something special for you. Oh. A special gift, yes. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. So you're going to give me some time? Let me go and get it from my room. All right, that's fine. I'll be here waiting. I know. <laughs> what has it said to you? You know that. It's okay. fine. I'll be just fine. Just put your smiley face. <laughs> I'm smiling already. I know, I know. But please don't keep too long, okay? Oh, come on, trust me. I'll be back. All right. Chuku the natural? Yes! <laughs> um, you, you came to see me. Oh my god, I have searched everywhere for you. There is nothing else I've done in this life other than look for you. Come on, look at you. For three years, three years. Uh -huh. Oh my god, um, I, I miss you. It's um, a, a, a long story. Okay, fine. Don't worry, we'll talk about You're it. You're back? Of course. I'm back. I'm back. Well, I'm so glad and so happy to see you the way you will hug and hold her. It appears you're the only person who likes her in this house apart from Dad. Yeah. I don't understand. I thought she told you. I thought you were excited about what she told you and that's why you're hugging her. She's my fiancée. What? What? What do you mean, what? Is that true? Talk to me! Is that true? What is it? I'm fine. Is it true? Vera, uh -huh. has he tasted the woman in you? Talk to me! What is going on here? What is going on here? Please forgive me. See, honey, there's nothing to be sorry for. Oh, yes, because whatever you did with him was in the past. That's before you knew me. So there's nothing to forgive. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are a darling. Words can't explain how much I love you. <laughs> and I love you too. <laughs> oh, make me a promise that you will never have anything to do with him again. I promise whatever we had was in the past and nothing, I mean nothing will ever evolve that. See, I love you so much. And I love you too. From my heart. <laughs> what happened? You just disappeared. No one could trace you. You gave me your number. And ever since then, I have been trying to call you and you kept telling me switched off. 
Not like you told me where you live. So you got me confused. You got me worried. What happened? I'm so sorry. Actually, I got a call from my mother that day. While you were in the bathroom smoking. I... I didn't want to disturb you. She told me that my father was rushed to the hospital as a result of a sudden heart attack. Oh my God. I had to leave. And I swear I did it subconsciously without even remembering to tell you. And on my way to the hospital, I was attacked by a gang of criminals. They forcefully took my phone, my handbag. And the most painful part was I... My father was even pronounced dead before I got to the hospital. It's okay, I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry, please forgive me. No, 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 you stop it. I think it's the other way around. I am sorry for everything that happened to you. I I'm tried. So, it's okay. I, I tried. Hey, hey, I, I tried hey. to reach you. Hey, it's okay. Look, <laughs> everything is going to be all right. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Don't you dare! Don't you dare call her your woman because she knows she's my woman! She is not your woman! You big for nothing. I met her before you. So you think you can frustrate me this time around? You think? And that you will be until you die! And you will be a nickel pope, a madman, an idiot! Till oh you die! God. You are a madman! Enough of this madness! Quiet, both of you! What is all this? Have you gone insane? Have you lost your mind? You are shouting quarreling just because of a woman? And who is she anyway? Mother, I will tell you this immediately. She is not just any woman. She is the sweetest of them all. The sweetest I've ever met. Father, you need to close the door with this girl. And then you will see why you will not allow any other person. Can you listen to yourself? Can you listen to yourself? The nonsense that is coming out of your mouth? Can you listen to what you're telling your own father? Woman like you! He understands what I am saying! How would you feel if your children do the same to you? But he is the disrespectful one here. Oh, and you are the respectful one here. You are the nice person. No, go ahead, clap for yourself. You deserve all the accolades. You have the right to call me the disrespectful one when you, 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 you went chasing after my woman. By the way, when did you start talking to women? It is thunder! Thunder! Thunder is homeless! I'm frustrated, I will strike you dead! And I am that thunder! That will suffocate your destiny. Will you stop? What? Women, I told you not to interfere. What are you doing here? Not what? when my son is being cursed by a she male. And not when my own son is being cursed by a stupid lout. Will you shut up? Oh, shut up! Will you shut up? Shut up! 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 Why are you still calling Vera a whore even after I've told you that she's the woman for me? No, she cannot be the woman for you. She's classless! What do you know about her? I mean, what do you know about her to draw such conclusion? Brother, that lady has already slept with Tiffany. Mm -hmm. And from what we know, you have equally slept with her. And that makes her classless? Are you guys underestimating me or what? Do you realize that I am the head prince of Ozuna Kingdom? That I can get any woman I want? Good! 
So why not get another and leave this one that already went down with a fine alone? Mm -hmm. Any woman that could go as slow as sleeping with a fine has no class. Ah, uh, you know what? I want to be left alone. <sighs> okay, we'll leave you alone. But I want to tell you something. We once made a presentation before the king and we presented you as a decisive man who is made in the mode of kings. Why are you portraying a different character entirely? I am not portraying a different character at all. I am still the decisive man. And that is why I cannot allow a fine to go for a woman that I want. And let me make it clear to you. It will never happen. Obviously, you guys don't want to let me be. Good. Why is brother Chukunon so behaving like this? Why? I was the first to sample her words before my stupid brother emerged from nowhere to claim what does not belong to him. He wants to reap where he did not sow. Man, that's your brother to the misfire. Now which academy in go serve? My prince, why must you and your brother fight always? And what sort of stupid question is that, Jerry? Is something wrong with you? Are you daft? Didn't you hear when I said I was the first to meet this girl? You guys don't understand. This girl is sweet. She is the sweetest I have ever encountered. But Prince, if I Chuku, this girl you are talking about is engaged to your brother. That is PM News. That is Baudadash. Not for a man like me. She told me she has nothing to do with my brother. What? Yes! And in my presence, she removed that miserable ring that miserable idiot gave to her. Jerry, have you heard it? The girl wants a guy man in her life. Not that dog guy. I, 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 I can't believe this. I know you would not believe this. You don't even believe in yourself. You are just a miserable pessimist. And I tell you something like I have always told you. I will never allow you to drag me to your own level. Prince Ifa Inchuku, I am not a pessimist. Indeed, I am a realist. My prince, what I want you to do is see things from my own perspective. That is my point. I see your point indeed. And now I see exactly why you were thrown out of the seminary school. Now let me warn you. The next time you give me this useless sermon of yours, I will lodge a bullet in your spinal cord. And I mean every word of it. My prince, can you do that? <laughs> Sweetheart, you are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, every bit of it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> just that. What is it? Something just came to my mind now. What's the problem? I just remembered that this very thing I'm enjoying now, my younger brother has enjoyed it. My love, I'm sorry about it. I just want you to get this thing off your mind, please. Moreover, this whole thing happened three years ago. At that time, I didn't even know I was going to meet you. I'm really sorry. Please. It's okay, honey. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up in the first place. I know he's in the past now. I'm really sorry about that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I should be the one apologizing. I'm very sorry. It's okay. Sit 
I still can't understand what is going on. Brother Chukunonso is not in the palace. And when I called him, I heard that lady's voice in the background. You're not serious. You mean he left us to go be with her or what? More reason you need to see through mom's point. That lady is a gold digger and we need to confront her immediately. Confront her as in engaging her in the fight? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Cynthia. We cannot be seen fighting a classless woman who could sleep with both brothers. Think of something else. Hmm. I'm just wondering what has changed. Brother Chukunonso, who could not even look a woman in the eyes, is now ready to fight for her? I don't know what to say. You know what, Cynthia? Call him again. I want to talk to him. Mm. Call him. Mm. Lizzie. Why are you killing yourself over somebody that is not interested in you? Chidibiri, who told you he's not interested in me? He is my brother. I know him too well. He's not interested in you. He does not like you. What I still don't understand is why would your brother be interested in another man's fiance? Think about it. Isn't that crazy? Whether crazy or not, that is none of my business. The fact is, stay on your own. He does not like you. Period. I'm saying this. Why then are you my friend? He don't like you. Stay on your own. Baby, I love your brother, Shao. I don't know what you're not doing. Mama Jesse, you mean all this has been happening? I am extremely tired, Udoka. Why is there no peace in my home? Most times I feel I am caused. No, you are not. <laughs> How can you say a thing like so that? What, what, what do you expect me to say? from one problem to the other. But why is it that Ifa Nishuku cannot forget his encounter with this woman and then allow his brother Shuku Nonso to have her to himself, seeing he has already engaged her? That is the problem, Udoka. Ifa said it must be that girl. Why? That she is the sweetest woman in this world. I don't know what that means anyway. Sweetest woman in this world. Exactly, that was what he said. What kind of expression is that? That's very serious. And you know that Nonso's mother and sisters don't like this lady in question. Honestly, I am tired and confused. I am equally as tired as, as you are. Why do I have this feeling that you are a superwoman? A superwoman in what sense? The way you touch, the way you make our man, the way you do everything is different from the way other women do to me. And that gives you all as a superwoman. Listen, I'm not happy you're telling me this. How do you mean? I am just expressing my sincere feelings. My love, I am not talking about feelings. You just indirectly told me that you're doing stuff with other ladies. I don't like the way that sounds. <sighs> to be honest with you, ever since you left, there has been no other woman. And now that you're back, there will be no other woman. It's you and I forever. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. let me make you scream the second time. Mm, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> I don't know why he fights you over everything. Ask me, Tony. No, ask me. That boy is just something else. I just hope he doesn't frustrate me to the point that I'll begin to think about getting him killed. Uh, um, no, 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 don't say that. You don't understand, Tony. You don't. That boy is just a pin in my ass. Uh, oh, oh. 
How sure are you he no longer has anything to do with Vera? Well, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Whatever they had was in the past and it's long gone. It was in fact uh, Well, I wish I could grow to trust women like that. Unfortunately, I don't want to trust that blindly. It's up to you, Tony. It's up to you. It's your opinion and you're entitled to it. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, Vera is mine. And very soon, I'll pay her bread price. She must be my wife. Vera, this is unusual. How can you be in love with two brothers, not minding the controversies that surrounds it? Girl, please, you have to stop this. You have to stop this before it gets more complicated. Please. Neka. You don't get it. I am in love with both of them. I mean, I can date two of them simultaneously. I can't afford to lose any of them. Don't you get it? Vera, now you've lost it. You have lost it. Oh. And you need help. <laughs> really? Yes. And urgent help. You need help. Okay. I have heard you. This is serious, not that you've heard me. so much. I miss you very much. If you say that one more time, you will deny me my sleep. <laughs> you know what, darling? You have this special way of touching a woman. I cannot exist without you, my love. It is official. You just repeat exactly the words that I told my father. You are the sweetest of them all. I want you to know one thing, darling. I will fight for the last drop of my blood. You are for keeps. <laughs> my darling, I feel the same way. All right, darling, you, you have no idea what's happening to me right now. My mom is <laughs> right here looking at me like she wants to tear me apart. You know what I promise you? I'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk more, okay? I love you, I love you. Oh my goodness, he is just exactly what I want. Oh, please, whatever. Hey. <laughs> Mom, you're still dressed. You should be asleep by now. Or do you want to go to the club with me? I've not even gone to bed. Why? I'm bothered. A queen? <laughs> bothered about what? About you. Me? Me? How? I, I don't understand. If I ain't Jogu, why must you lost over a woman Jogu so wants to marry? Why? Bomb, I am not lost enough after anyone's woman. I met that girl way before Jogu so did. When? Where? If I need to go how? Okay, mom, let me, let me break it down for you. I met this girl three years ago in Asaba. We became friends. We got along just fine, mom. We spent quality time in the hotel. And after a while, she just disappeared. Only for me to bump into her and then she told me everything that happened. Mom, she is the reason. 
that I haven't been able to look at another woman. She is the sweetest girl that I've gotten down with. She is awesome, mother. She is the woman that I will marry. There is something I must tell you, son. Tell me what? Oh, Oguzu. I am listening. I want my son to be the future king of Uzono Kingdom. I've actually heard a lot about you. How you can make everything possible. I want the opposition dead. It is not possible. Anyone who has been named the son of the king of Uzuno is protected by the staff of the kings and can never be killed. So, what do you want me to do? I am ready to pay any amount, anything. I just want my son to be named heir apparent to the throne. I will find a woman. I will cage her soul with the power from the pots of Jezebel. I will send her on a mission. What kind of a mission, please? Women are very complicated. They complicate things a lot. I don't want complications in this. There is nothing complicating about this. I will send her to visit the opposing prince in his office and something will start immediately. He will propose to her. And once he marries her, he will die. Then your son can take over. Is it complicated? No, it's not. I, I think I like it. Oh. Then you will pay me 400,000 Naira. And afterwards, something will be done. I hired her. She is on a mission. A mission to kill Chukunonso and put an end to all these squabbles. What? She does not know what she's doing. She's under a spell. So, son. Give her some space to make Chukunonsu take his own life. Did I, did I, did I hear you right? You did, son. Why? Mother, why? Of all the girls in this world, why did you choose the sweetest of them all for your evil manipulations? Why, mom? I did it for you, son. Did it for who? I did it for who? You know what? I did not hear anything that you just said. I will carry on with my plan, move on with my intentions. But I am serious about it. If I do not ever ever call my name again. Ever. Your Majesty, you have to do your job, not just as a king, but as a father. You need to restore peace to your home. Call your family together. Talk to them. I believe they will listen to you. Because the way uh, things are going, things are really getting out of hand. Thank you very much, Ono. Thank you for your concern. It is not like I am not doing my job as a father. 
I have done everything you asked me to do, all to no avail. They don't listen to me. Maybe because you don't take things seriously. I do, or no. I do. Just that they don't listen to me. And honestly, I don't know what else to do. Your Majesty, in the house where the masquerade is singing, a human being is in there. That's all I have to say. Teresa, I still, I still don't know why there can't be peace in my brother's home. That is giving me a reason to be bothered. Seriously. Is there peace in your own home? Uh, me what? When you are bent on imposing an American woman on me as my daughter-in-law, why are you not talking about our own family? Teresa, let me ask you. Akunne and then Koseka, that my brother married, are they not from this land? From this Awuzun? Are they not the problems we have in this family? Have they not been the ones trying to bring this family down? Have they behaved in any way to suggest they are good women? No, has it not occurred to you that a good woman, a good wife could be found from anywhere, not minding the race, the tribe, the region or whatever? Why are you endlessly talking nonsense? Why? Oh. Talking nonsense. Absolute nonsense, and you know it. I will not discuss this matter ever again. Good. Wonderful. Can you please get me something to eat? Thank you. Why are you doing this? What am I doing? What am I doing, Teresa? We have not been able to solve the Akunne and then go say Kadivakol in this in, 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 in this family. And now there is a woman, a strange woman from only God knows where, who has come to tear the two brothers apart. Are you not bothered? Is that not what we're supposed to be discussing instead of an innocent woman that my, my son has found for himself? Why? Have you bothered to check the identity of the girl I want her son to marry? Have you? Why do you dislike somebody you don't know? Why? Somebody you've never seen? Why will I want to bother myself asking for her identity? When the person that will marry her, who happens to be my son, already has another woman in America who has stolen his heart. Listen, I don't know that, I don't know that, that American woman. But my son already confided in me that she is an angel. Yes, in his wisdom, he saw that woman in America as an angel. Now, why would you want me to encourage my son to abandon that angel he found for himself in America and come back here and start, start negotiating anything with another angel who could possibly turn to another Akone and another Gosek and this family and sit everywhere blaze and map wala? You didn't know what? Give me something to eat. Why must she plan to kill Chukunonzo? Is she that evil? That's not my problem though. Why must it be Vera? Why must it be the sweetest of them all? We still let the speed go! Here we go! Give me a round to my money. How are you? I'm fine and you? Well, um, I'm just sitting outside the house, smoking and thinking about you. Alright. Chukunansu, 
You have never disobeyed me ever since I gave birth to you. Why now? Mom? Is this a deliberate move to appeal to my emotions to weaken me? Why must you read extra meaning into this? What extra meaning are you talking about? You what do you mean by that? You just refer to my choice as an act of disobedience. So Why must you say that, Mom? What do we call this one? Love! What nonsense love are you talking about? Mom, the love I have for Vera is what we are talking about here. I love her so much and I cannot afford to lose her. It is obvious you don't know what you are doing. But I will not allow that. Not when I'm still alive. Excuse me. Yeah, baby. Of course you know I miss you too. Yes, of course. I can't wait. Are you serious? You know I can't wait. Oh, darling, I love you so much. You see, let me just leave you to sleep, okay? Sleep like a baby, sweet dreams, and dream about us. I love you too. Hey, Chukunonso. Chukunonso. Yes. I have come here to warn you. Stay away from Vera. She is my woman and she belongs to me. I met her way before you did. <laughs> Stay away from my woman. You sound very funny. Why can't you just give it up already? You and I know that Vera is my woman. As a matter of fact, my fiancé to be precise. In your plastic mind. Oh, it's difficult for you to comprehend, right? Do you know I just got out of the phone with her? We well, just had a telephone conversation and she assured me that my name alone makes her mind skip. That she loves me, that I am the one for her. That is not possible. So why don't you give it up? Why are you fighting a lost battle? That's not possible, Chikunonso. I just spoke with her not quite long ago and she told me she has nothing to do with you. Let this be the last time I am warning you, Chikunonso. Stay away from Vera. You are free. You have all the time to look for any woman you want in this world. Stay away from Vera. I won't warn you again. Obviously, you're psychic, isn't it? I am not psychic, you, madam. I am not. Stay away from Vera. It will not be like this next time. Asami, is it true? Did you call him last night? I swear I did not call him. Why would I do that? But that was what he told me. Listen, my love. Such thing never happened. He lied to you. He lied to me? Why would he lie to me? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? It is obvious he doesn't want us to be together. My love. I promised you that I was going to have nothing to do with him. What we had is history. You are the one I love. You are my husband-to-be. I would never do anything to let you down or to hurt you. Believe me. Are you sure? I'm very sure. You promise? I promise. I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> That is impossible. I will never let go of that girl. She is mine and will forever be. If I need you, are you alright? I told you that that girl is on a mission. She is under a spell. That is not my business. She is the one that I love. She is the one that I will be with. Excuse me. Baby. What is it? I don't like the look on your face. That bastard. He was here. 
Who? My brother. Was he here? Faichu, why would you ask me such a question? What would your brother come here to do? I smell the familiar perfume. He is to be precise. Vera, what did my brother come here to do? It is not established that your brother was here. Why would you ask me what he came here to do? I find it so unfair. But the fragrance of his cologne is everywhere in your room. That cologne was specifically made for him. And I bet you, no one else wears it. Well, you are wrong. The only person who just left here is Neka's boyfriend. So whatever cologne you are smelling was worn by him. So Neka now has a boyfriend. Rich enough to duplicate the customized cologne that my brother wears. Who is he? Darling. Can we just stop this unnecessary talk about Colon and talk about us? I have missed you so much. I need you to come into the room and give it to me hard, baby. I've missed you. sisters and we have the right to tell you who to marry and who not to marry. Cynthia, have you gone out of your mind? How dare you talk to me in this manner? No, 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 hold on. She's right. Oh. She hasn't said anything wrong now. That girl is not good for you. She's a whore! Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. What does she get out of my sight? Little girls of yesterday. Oh, you're now grown that you cannot open your stupid mouth to tell me who to marry or who not to marry. You have to discontinue whatever game you're playing because my son wasn't part of the mission. <laughs> <laughs> well, my queen, it's too late already. What do you mean by that? Well, let's say I'm enjoying this game and I have come to stay. You have come to stay where, young lady? What are you talking about? <laughs> My goodness. Well, have a nice day, Queen Ngozika. That is it, Great Ozala. My son has now fallen in love with the same lady, and it's not part of the mission. 
What else do you want me to do? I want you to break this spell. I'm no longer interested. Please, I beg you. No longer, Zeke. Great Ozala. Your request cannot be granted. What? The spell cannot be broken. No. Why? Great Ozala, why can't it be broken? There is a detailed interest coming from the custodian of the staff of the kings of Osuna. The staff will not allow a neutralization request. Interest from the custodian of the staff of the kings? That's my husband. The king is interested in that lady. Oh, of course I know. I know that, Great Ozal. I've always known it from the beginning. He wants Chukunonso to marry that girl. But that's not what I'm talking about. My son has fallen in love with the same girl. Please, you need to break that spell so that it doesn't have any effect on my son. Please. As for now, there is nothing I can do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Serious, well, serious, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. Okay, stop staring at me. You're making me shy. I'm not staring at you because I want to make you shy. <laughs> it's just that I can't take my eyes off you because you're amazingly beautiful. Oh, yes. That's so lovely. You see, sometimes I feel like I want to eat you up. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like if you were lollipop, I would just lick you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eat me up if you want to. I'm all yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love you. And I love you too. There's something I want to show you. So let me get my phone from my room. Okay, I'll be right here waiting. And I'll be right back. All right, darling. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine, my king. <laughs> Mother, I will tell you this immediately. She is not just any woman. She is the sweetest of them all. The sweetest I've ever met. Father, you need to close the door with this girl. And then you will see why you will not allow any other person to come close to her. Can you listen to yourself? I hope you like what you see, my king. to have a little fun with you. I need to go back to the sitting room before your son comes looking for me. Oh no, no, you don't have anything to worry about. Just stay here. You're with the king. <laughs> I am not done with you yet. No, you're sounding like you had so much fun. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty, what's going on in there? Yeah, please. Just back up. 
Please take it, it's okay. Calm down. I said, where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Where did she go to? How do I find her? I don't know. She just came back, packed all her things, and she left. She didn't say anything to me. And she didn't tell me where she was going to. I've been calling her and her two lines have been switched off. I can't reach her. Yes. She did what? She did what? Look, Prince Chuko, please. Did your sons had already slept with. You have lost relevance. I regret the day I married you. She's 100% right. You have lost relevance already. And no matter how hard you will try, you will never command the respect of anyone again. My daughters, let's go. I, I can swear on my life that this is not ordinary. What she did to me is beyond seduction. She hypnotized me and I lost control of myself when it mattered most. I am telling you the truth. That you were hypnotized by that bitch. Then you have compromised your position as the king. Because no one can hypnotize you if you don't compromise your position. Do you mind telling us what you did? We should be blaming Ngozika and not me. The psychic I just called confirmed to me that she was the one who invoked that evil woman from only God knows where. He confirmed to me that in her desperation, she played into the hands of the enemies of the throne. She is actually the one to be blamed and not me. Oh, spare me that, Ubiago. I hate you. You're a total disgrace. Look at how you single-handedly ridiculed our family. Now tell me, where do you go from here? You're a shame.
further. Is there a way out of this mess? Can this abomination be cleansed? Can I still emerge as king? What lies did you call me here to tell me? Ubiako, if every other person forgives you, Ngozi Chukuka will never forgive you. I, I did not call you here to tell you lies. There is something I want to show you. What, what, what are you doing with the con? I have lost the throne already. What crime did I commit that has made you unleash that evil woman on my children and I? What crime did I commit? Your Majesty, you were the one who could not... This is a dark period in our history. For the first time in the history of this kingdom, the king did not only kill the woman that bore him a son, the king also took his own life. Uh, oh no, Wakajuko, please. Uh, we are doing everything possible to forget the tragedy that befell our family. It's indeed a dark period, like you said. And we are making inquiries on how we can cleanse the land of the abomination that was committed. For we have come to the sad conclusion that an abomination was indeed committed by our late brother and the late king. Trust me, you have my assurance on this. We are going to handle it. I am aware that the king left a skeletal information about the woman. I have come to provide additional information. I'm sorry to cut you off, no. You don't need to bother yourself explaining anything about that woman. We all know the evil woman in question. I want to make a clarification. I was never interested in the throne in the first place. I understand that the king is expected to abide by certain rules, some of which are rooted in strange powers no one can manipulate. I, Ifai Chuku, have never been interested in all this. He was my mother. She kept pushing, she kept pushing me. And now that the whole scenario has taken her life, I want to let you all know that I am opting out. 
Chukunanso. You are my brother. One who truly deserves the throne. I offer you a sign of peace. And also to let you know that you deserve it. So you can have it. Thank you. My brother, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for solving this problem. I had always known that you were a good man. I had always known also that it was your mother who has been manipulating you. But now that all these are over, when I emerge king, we shall rule this great kingdom together, just like father and uncle Udoka. Just say, what do you, what kind of pronounce? What, what, what is that? If my brother here is not the king, then who is? Oh, no, I don't want to believe. I, 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 don't, I don't want to believe that kingship, I mean royalty, in any way has been taken away from our family. Royalty still remains in your family. It's, it's rightfully mine. I'm the heir apparent. The abomination did not affect all the families of the royal lineage. We have made inquiries. After the cleansing that we come to your family, we will all gather and make Udoka king and hand over the staff of the kings to him. You are the next king of Uzono kingdom. Spirited, and that you never schemed for this. Mm -mm, never. You earned it. So therefore, you have my support. Thank you, Uncle. My brother has said it all. I believe this is a new dawn in our family. You've always been that uncle who believes in unity and sustenance of family values. I submit to your kinship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 